Hi everyone, Noah the Peaceful Wanderer here. I'm somewhere in France today, I think it's Provence. But uh, it's beautiful, I came over this mountain, I did a nice little 40 minute hike up this mountain, and I came over and this was the view I found. So it was pretty spectacular and it kind of took my breath away and started making me think about something to talk about today that we as human beings tend to do a lot. And I think it's a, I don't want to say it's a flaw, but I think it's something that doesn't allow us to really experience life and beauty in its fullest, and that's comparison. You know, when I walk over this mountain, and I walk over and I see this view, our first tendency sometimes, when we're first, we're awestruck by it, and we see the beauty, and it takes our breath away. And then the mind comes in and says, this reminds me of, for me it was Greece, this reminds me of Greece, I'm comparing it to somewhere else I've been. And as soon as you do that, you stop seeing the real thing and you start making comparisons based on the other thing and this thing and seeing pros and cons and the whole thinking process begins. And before that process begins, you're just in a state of beauty. You just wit you're witnessing beauty and you truly understand beauty at that moment. And it always seems to me that when we get into that comparison state of is this, is this as good as that? Is, that as, is this as good as this? We tend to lose the real, the real flavor of the thing. It's like, um, you know, when we label things as good or bad, uh, that's another comparison. It's, we're always, we're, we're never seeing things clearly. We're seeing things through the lens of comparison in these situations. And I think that's a real detriment to the experiencing of beauty. Because I think as long as we're comparing things to other things, we're missing out on the pure beauty of what we see here. And so yeah, so I just want you to take a moment and think about how often we compare in our lives. You know, do I look as good as that person? Is that person as good as that person? And we're always comparing ourselves against other people. These, these things don't allow us to really grow. They're, they're kind of like a, they kind of put us at odds with ourselves. They create, they create a conflict in us because if we're not living up to that ideal, that comparison, then we're gonna be frustrated internally and that's gonna cause conflict in our minds and that can lead to all kinds of stresses and anxieties, things we don't need. We don't need to compare ourselves to anyone. The only ideals we should be living up to are, are our own, that we set for ourselves, that we find fundamentally pure to us. Um, not what someone else says we should be living like, what we know in our hearts we should be living like. And I think every human being at some level knows the difference between right and wrong. And we choose every day to make decisions based on our own inner, inner feelings. But don't make it based on what someone else is doing. You're never gonna find your real life if you're doing what other people tell you to do or comparing your life to another person's and saying, oh, I want, I want that car because everyone else is getting that car. We don't need to do that. If the car is meeting our needs and that's the car we really need to get, then yes, get that car. But don't do it based on comparison. And don't do it based, don't, don't live in a state of comparison when you go out and view nature and beauty. Uh, when you view yourself in the mirror, you know, one of my future talks is going to be about um, looking at ourselves in the mirror and what do we see. Well, if we're always comparing what we should look like or what we want to look like, then we're not really seeing who we are. And the saddest thing that I find is that when I see people, you know, having surgery on their faces or on their bodies because they don't like what they see. It's not that they don't like what they see generally, it's because they're comparing themselves to someone else and they like what they see in that person and they don't see it in them. They've really never looked at their real beauty. And so we'll get into that in a future talk, but for today, just think about comparison and how it's not really benefiting you in life. It's not, um, it's not making you grow to your potential, it's making you grow to their potential and that's a limiting factor as I've found in my life. So signing off from Provence, I hope this little talk helped you, and peace.